Hello, viewers. This is Trask Nari. Well, it's what you've all been waiting for. Welcome to Six Days of Sacrifice, the final game in the Jizo Mythos John Defoe Manor series. Let's finish this epic. Yesterday, I saw the body of the bridge keeper engulfed in flame, and I saw the bridge created by one third. Tomorrow, I saw the soul of the bridge keeper reduced to ash, and I saw the bridge created by two thirds. Today, the mind of the bridge keeper shall meet with its destiny, and I saw she the bridge extend between the realms. And the many children of the king shall leap and dance and sing praise in his name, for great is his wisdom and his benevolence. The Book of the Bridge. I should have done this the moment you came into the world, demon child. May God forgive me for having a part in your creation. Why did you kill me, brother? I helped you when you were injured. I bandaged you when our father made his mistake. No mistake, young one. Now do you see why I tried to keep you away from this creature? It has no understanding of human ways. You're wrong, father. If you'd even given her a chance to be normal. Cease your prattling, Matthew. It's time to put an end to the horror I unleashed. Why are you doing, Father? Father, no! Father! Father! The destruction of the body of the bridge keeper. Arr. We be I believe we all saw this in... Seven Days of Skeptic and Five Days of Stranger. The destruction of the soul of the Bridge Keeper followed for about, about 400 years later. So, what happened between those two incidents? Hmm. <laughs> Alright. New magazine. Not the right demographic. Oh, some women's magazine. Put here to help visitors pass the time, I guess. Let's take a pamphlet. Life becoming a struggle? Need a guiding hand? Want to become part of the world's fastest growing family? Optimology, Scientology, is a religion catered for you. Taking the best parts of all previous religions and making them a great new way of thinking. Join Optimology today. We're the Frankenstein of religions. Are you Mr. Garrett? Get out of my way, you fool! Well, Mr. Garrett, I'm from the uh, county council. What? My name's Dockaby. I phoned you a week ago about running an inspection of your facilities. Oh, yes, I remember. The council has been informed that you may be extending your premises without permission. I just need to take a look around and make sure you aren't. Is it com is it completely necessary? Just a precaution, entirely routine. Could you come back another time? Well, actually, no. I have to get this done before the end of the week, and this is my only time slot. Then you shall die. I mean, I see. Is there a problem? No, not at all. Uh, well, why don't I take you up in the elevator, and we can tour the building? I'd be obliged. Come on, let's go. Wait, where's the... Oh, crap! Oh, you jerk. That was completely insensitive. That was uncalled for in every aspect. Day 1. July 24th, AD 2189. I told you, I have no idea who he is. Then why should you care? I'm a doctor for God's sake. Oh, it seems terribly convenient. You don't think if he was our agent, we'd find a way to get him passed down here without smashing him to pieces. A broken neck is not something I'd call convenient. Don't think me a fool. If he arrives now of all times and you insist it's a coincidence. What else could it be? He's awake! Brains! Can you hear me? Do you know your name? Can you tell me your name? Darkaby, 
Theodore Dockaby. My name's Samantha Hardy. Hardy, that's a familiar name. How much do you remember? Hey! Stop talking to him. I don't want either of you saying another word till my employer gets here. Hmm, that's a familiar character. This man is seriously injured. He has to be returned to the surface and taken to a properly equipped hospital. Except he's not quite acting the way he should. I will not tell you again. No one leaves, no one breathes a word until my employer tells me what is to be done. God damn you. Hmm, that doesn't seem like the guy we all know and love. Not a word. Hmm. Psst. Ugh, danger. Hmm, so we can't deal with that. Can't deal with the guard. Yeah. What's the matter now? His condition may still be degrading. The facilities here are very understocked. Move aside. I'm gonna check him. <laughs> now what to do while he's leaning over me? Molest! I take a slip of paper from his pocket when he leans over. He doesn't seem to notice. Doesn't even say anything. Oh, I don't say any problems. Pass the note. Psst. Uh, go to the console over there. Oh, opens the door in the north wall. Turn on the privacy screen. Aha! That won't help you. I can't see you, but there's only one way out of here. Technically, there are two. That's a door, and it looks like it's trying to eat me. Let's open that door up there. Uh-oh. This guy's familiar. You. I remember you. Oh no, this is bad. Don't look. But what's going on? Don't look! God. Um. Looks like we're loose again. Can you walk? Just about. It hurts a lot. How much do you remember? Look, I'm just a council inspector. I was sent here to run an inspection on the building. Some lunatic upstairs pushed me down here and I wake up here. Can you please explain to me what the hell is going on? You fell to the very bottom of the shaft. <laughs> shaft. You are now in an underground laboratory complex. What do the ophthalmologists need that for? Ophthalmology is a front. A money-making, crowd-pleasing facade to disguise the true organization. Which is a cult. They call themselves the Order of the Blessed Agonies. Ugh. A bunch of masochistic freaks who worship some mad death god. Ugh. So, why do they have a laboratory complex? Do you mind if I ask? Why were you sent to inspect the building? The the police told us they received a tip. Th at the optimal, I mean, the cultists were built something. Since they didn't have a planning permission, I had to see if there was any truth to it. It seems there was. This complex isn't documented in any of our records at the site. I'm disappointed. You'd think you'd better talk to Janine. I have a feeling you're the person she's been waiting for. You have a very manly voice. Who? The other prisoner. She and I were being held captive down here by one of the cultists. You mean the man who was guarding us? Where'd he go, anyway? The man in the hat was just a mercenary, I think, hired to guard the place. Our captor is still around somewhere. Janine and I only escaped from our cell this morning. We were looking for a way out when you arrived. I dragged you here and the guard found me. We've got to call the police! No can deal till we get to the surface. Something's blocking our communications. But with the three of us against one man, we should be able to negotiate our way out. Janine's supposed to be finding us some weapons. Find her. I apologize for putting a burden on you in current state, but urgent matters... I have urgent matters to see to. Dr. Hardy, what happened to the guard? 
What was behind that door? Why didn't you let me see? Fine, Janine. Once the cultist is our hostage, I have time to add to all your questions. Where are we? What are we doing? What is going on? How will this end? Why did our one of our old friends attack another of our old friends? Well, this will all become very clear later. I'm Traskinari. I'll see you guys l later with our next episode of Let's Play Six Days of Sacrifice.